Hi guys, sorry if I look like crap still. It is very hot here in Wisconsin. We are going through a heat wave, so I actually had to turn off my AC so that you guys could hear me. I have a fan going, so if you can hear that, I'm sorry, but I am actually going to be doing a review today of a product that I bought and um, maybe just talk about my experience with this company in general. So if you already have guessed by the title, yes, this is a product from the brand Iron Fist or the company. And I'm just going to tell you my experience from that and what I think about the shoes. I was, and I bought shoes, so I didn't buy any other apparel from them, but um, I was going to do a demo with these shoes because, you know, I, I like giving that full effect for people. But um, since we are going through a massive heat wave and I'm just way too excited to wait to do this review, um, I decided not to do a demo with them like on my feet or anything like that because when it gets extremely hot, I mean, I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but my feet tend to swell really, really bad. And um, it's bad enough for me as it is because I am flat-footed and I suffer from plantar fasciitis. So my feet are generally uncomfortable like pretty much 85% of the time. But when the other 15% I am comfortable, I guess you'll say, um, is when I'm barefoot and not doing anything and my feet are up. So honestly, Buying shoes for me is really, really hard because of the condition of my feet. Um, so therefore, I should not be wearing high heels to begin with, but I do a lot of stuff to my feet to make them able to wear and walk in high heels. So I mean, a lot of people would feel that's really unnecessary and kind of stupid, but for me, you know, pain is beauty, whatever, fuck it. But I do have a massive like heel collection that I wear and don't wear because I just, I love shoes and it's something that I will never part with ever. So, I mean, think of it as you will, it's just, that's how I view life, I guess. Um, but yes, I should not be dealing with high heel shoes because of the condition of my feet, but because I love them so much, I put up with it. So Iron Fist, I believe is a company located in California. I think they're located exactly in San Diego, if I read up on it right. I do believe that they are a vegan company, so I believe all of their shoes are 100% vegan. If they are not, then I read up on that wrong, but as far as I know and my knowledge on them is that they are a vegan shoe company. I see a lot of blogs that are dedicated to like vegan lifestyle talk about this company a lot especially when it comes with shoes and a lot of the blogs that I venture to um, are more catered to alternative styled people so if you don't know what that means it means like you know if you have a more alternative look so either you are like goth punk your metal your pinup this is the kind of company that caters to those types of people and I guess the people that I find on the internet that run these blogs happen to be vegan and they talk about this company. So I'm assuming that their footwear line at least is 100% vegan. So there's that. Um, so upon receiving the package, so I had a little bit of like a what the fuck moment when I received and opened up the box to initially look at the shoes was a little bit weird to me because my shoes were kind of thrown all over the place like they weren't even in the actual shoe box so that was a little weird but that's you know I don't think that's the company's fault because I mean whoever handles the packaging in like UPS or FedEx whoever brought it to me I don't remember but they you know they probably throw shit around all the time so unless it says fragile I mean I think they don't really give a shit but I don't know um, one thing that I would suggest to the company though that if they are shipping out shoes is to at least tape the box but I know there are some people out there that are very like big sticklers about tape on their boxes because a lot of people like to collect the shoe boxes me I could give a shit but I mean 
it's nice to have, I suppose, but personally, that's not a huge deal. I mean, the shoes, as far as I've seen them, looked fine. Everything was intact, so not a huge deal, but it just was a little odd to see them all, like, thrown around inside the box, so whatever. So the first thing I got, aside from the shoes, um, is this sticker. It just says Iron Fist on it, and it's a skull. So with a lot of their clothing and shoes, um, they have a lot of uh, features such as skulls and bones and zombies, like sometimes scary, sometimes cute. It depends on the style and whatnot. Um, they make a lot of platforms. Um, and they have cute wedges. They also have really cute combat boots and stuff like that. But today I ordered the strawberry, I think they're called the strawberry lips platforms. And I got them in a size 11. That's how big my feet are. And um, <clears throat> when I initially bought these shoes or was going to buy them, I believe they were like 50 or $60. So I was going to wait a little bit to see if they would drop down in price. And at first they dropped down a little bit and they were like about 40. And I was going to get them then. But then all of a sudden I got this email like another week later and I was thinking, oh my God, if, if they could just hold out on my size and if these shoes drop down, I'm totally getting them. and. Lo and behold, I got an email that had like pretty much half off on the shoes. So they ended up being a total of $30. So I was pretty ecstatic about that. So I could not pass this up and I went ahead and I bought them. That was my splurge. I've been a really good girl, so I decided to get them. So this is what the shoe box looks like. It's a very, very cute. It just says Iron Fist in bold letters and it has really pretty hearts. It's a nice, bright, hot pink box with red hearts. It looks really pretty. Um, so I do love the packaging of the shoe box in general. It's really cute. Um, so let's look inside. So this is what it looked like inside. It was all pretty much like crinkled up and stuff just like that. Again, not a big deal, but I will note that the wrapping paper is really cute. Um, it says Iron Fist on it, and it has little hearts all over, so I thought that was really cute. Um, another detail that I'd like to add into this is that they have this little chip here, which is to prevent mold, which is a really good thing. Um, I'm very educated on mold and such things because of my job and I will tell you that it is very important for to have um, mold protection with certain products so I mean that's a good thing I imagine that since this is all in a warehouse I believe I'm not quite sure but if they are in fact in a warehouse you know it's a place that's going to collect a lot of dust and potentially mold so I mean, that's a good thing to have, especially to protect the products. So let's look at the shoe. Oh my God, I, I just can't. These shoes are fucking beautiful. They do look like a strawberry. Now I first saw a post on Facebook, somebody had like, had a picture shared from somewhere. I believe it wasn't from Iron Fist, but it had a link to Iron Fist website, which um, I found that these were not in fact a myth and I was super excited because I was like, oh my god, I have to have these. So they do look like a strawberry. They are um, red patent leather type. It's vegan, so it's not real leather, but leather with these beautiful pearl accents, which I am not so sure about, but I mean, these are not like everyday type shoes that you'd probably, you wouldn't want to wear because of these. So these would be perfect for like a night out, maybe going to a party or something, a date night, which is what I'm using these for. These are my date night shoes. Um, but they have these little pearls all around. And as you can see, it has a green like stem accent because, you know, these are supposed to represent a strawberry. 
and they have these cute little straps around the ankles so I like ankle straps I think they add something really cute to a shoe and then it has like this wicker like a wicker basket almost they're just it's it's not real wicker it's plastic plastic like pleather something like that but it's just it's so cute and then the inside it has this gingham print which I absolutely love so all in all these are really really cute shoes I am super excited to wear these out I can't wait to show them to people the heel is rather high um, but you know I, I really don't care I'm used to high heels I have even higher of heels in my collection but these are super super cute you know even if you don't wear these but you put them on a shelf it's just a hundred percent just total cuteness I just could not pass these up the moment that I saw them I was just like yeah these have to be mine and you know I wish I would have gotten them sooner but it would have definitely hit my bank account a little hard because you know I don't go out and buy shoes like that often because you know a lot of the shoes that I like are rather expensive I have quite expensive taste but these but these are just perfect I am so glad that I waited because I did get a really smashing deal on these and um, I'm not sure if these are still on sale but if they are or if you can find a coupon code to lower the price on these totally buy them they are so cute as for them being comfortable I am not sure but like I said I do have like insoles and other little inserts to put in for the shoes so that my feet are protected so I don't get blisters I tape my feet as well so I mean they're a little more open than the heels that I normally wear so I'm going to have to be a little creative when it comes to taping my feet and such but I really shouldn't have a problem um, the most problem that I would have is inside where my um, the ball of my feet are and possibly at the heel but that I could tell would be a little easy to hide so I'm not really worried about it but all in all I am very impressed they are a size 11 so, so they didn't mess that up um, so a little bit on some of the research I did with this company um, a lot of people that gave it negative reviews had a problem with the customer service I've never dealt with Iron Fist customer service so I really cannot talk about that um, but as far as I know I know some people had had problems with the customer service um, whether they were rude to them or like it took too long for them to get back to a customer things like that um, so like I said I can't comment on that because I am just not you know I didn't have to go through that but as for shipping they did ship pretty fast for me I know some people said that um, shipping was ridiculous like it took longer than two weeks to get um, and that they had to pay extra for shipping now I'm not quite sure how that could be considering um, a lot of the customers that were reviewing on this were from the US and with these shoes I got them I think I only paid like maybe five dollars shipping I'm not even sure like I might have gotten free shipping with the coupon code because I do use a little service that you attach to your uh, search bar and everything it's called honey so if you're into saving money while online shopping I would suggest getting that little thing um, they just track down from all over the place so it saves you time instead of going to like retail me not and whatnot um, it basically does that for you so you can you know get other discounts that maybe you might not find elsewhere that's just usually how it works for me um, another thing is that you know when you are shopping online and this is for like any place online you have to be careful about everything I paid via PayPal I always pay through PayPal if it is accepted 
Um, and as far as I know, they accept PayPal on Iron Fist website. So instead of entering your credit card information manually, um, if you have all that on lock on PayPal, I suggest using PayPal. So like with the whole fiasco with Lime Crime, where people were getting their bank accounts compromised and such, um, I heard a lot of that had to do because they put in their credit card manually through the site instead of using PayPal. And as far as I know about Lime Crime is that they offer that whole PayPal thing too. So from what I have gathered and researched on is that um, a lot of people that had shopped through Lime Crime using PayPal didn't get their accounts compromised. So I mean, that's one thing that I always suggest to people if they're shopping online is to definitely use PayPal or going through PayPal, especially if the site offers that. Um, if the site does it, I definitely recommend that you look into the company up and down before you even make a purchase, before even deciding to support that company because, you know, you want to know where, you know, your money is going to go to, for one. You want to know that the site is secured, that the systems are all up to date because otherwise you're going to end up in the position that a lot of people were in when the whole Lyme crime shit happened. So that's just a little tip there. So. Um, as far as people bitching about the shipping costing way too much and everything like that, honestly, that had to have come from somebody from out of state, like in the UK. Um, I don't know how Canada's policies are, but I mean, that could affect that too. So, I mean, people were saying that they paid like over $20 for shipping and then when it came to their house, their packages couldn't be accepted unless they paid another like $16. And I'm just thinking to myself, you must be like out of the country because I've never heard of this happen, um, especially with a U.S. company or from people shopping through the U.S. from a U.S. company. I mean, I know it's not like completely uncommon, but from my experience with sites such as this, very well known sites, you know, I just have never had that experience. But all in all, I am very, very excited about these shoes. Um, I can definitely do an update on the shoes. I can definitely do a demo of walking around and showing off the shoes on my feet. If that pleases you, let me know. I am definitely all up for it. But as for now, I'm completely satisfied. For one, the shipping was great. It didn't cost a lot. In fact, I, I think I even got three... I think I even got free shipping as far as I remember, not quite sure, I'd have to look back on my receipts. Um, can't comment on customer service because I didn't have to deal with them and the less I have to deal with customer service is great on my part because I don't like talking to people like on the phone and stuff or having to deal with all that hassle because it's just, it can be prevented and if it can be prevented that's great so can't say anything about that. Um, the shoes arrived great other than when I first initially opened the box that was a little iffy like the shoes were not even in the shoe box I mean maybe one was probably hanging out of it but whatever they were kind of all messed up and the packaging I mean the packaging was great and everything I mean the tissue paper was a little torn but that's not a big deal for me I'm not gonna like put it in a scrapbook or anything I have no use for it so it's whatever and they got my size right, so I didn't have to worry about, you know, having to exchange it or anything like that. So I'm really, really pleased overall. They're a wonderful company in my book. They have really, really fun and edgy and just great products and wonderful if you're looking for alternative style footwear. So there's that. So if you've ever ordered from Iron Fist before, please put in the comments below your experience and, um, what are your favorite shoes if you do shop from there? So that's it for me. I am done freaking boiling because it is hot in here. So I have to turn back on my AC because I am just getting all sweaty and sticky. So anyways, that's it for me. You guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.